Flooding from this week's heavy storms costing a nonprofit in East Lansing thousands of dollars. Good evening. I'm Ann Emmerich. David is off tonight. People at the adult daycare say the loss will have a profound impact on services. News 10's Aaron Bowling has their plea for help. With fans everywhere and items stacked up, it's been a challenging week for Forrester Woods Adult Daycare. The nonprofit had two separate floods, forcing them to close for three days. There was water coming through the kitchen back door um, and it was rapidly coming in um, within probably it went from like a quarter inch to probably two inches. Once the first flood was cleaned up, water started coming into the rest of the building through the floor. Program income losses for those three days is probably close to 15,000. We're really not sure what the damage is to any of our equipment or our furniture at this time. A small nonprofit with little to no savings. CEO Jennifer Putman says the impact on services will be significant. For parents like Lori and Susan, the temporary closure serves as a reminder of just how valuable the center really is. Um, it's just a godsend to us. He, he's ready to go get back into his routine. It is, it's just magical. I mean, it, it, it's just such a positive environment. Julie gets up in the morning and goes to the door like, are we ready to go? And it's like, no, honey, you have to, we're staying home today. They say Forrester provides an endless list of services and a full schedule of activities, giving people with disabilities and the elderly a safe place to socialize and have fun while giving their family members a chance to work and relax. Peter has said on his communication device, he loves playing bingo. He said earlier today that he loves making new friends. This is her place. This is her time. This is um, her socialization. It not only supports the individual, Julie, it supports us as a family. Expanding worlds and making memories to ensure everyone can lead a full life. In East Lansing, Aaron Bowling, News 10. And if you'd like to help Forrester Woods Adult Daycare, they do have created a GoFundMe page where you can donate.